Hello friends, my name is Yuri Kovalenak. This time the sponsor of the release of this video project was the company Next PCB. If you want to do project without a bunch of files like mine, you will need printed circuit boards. Of course you can make them yourself, but it will require expensive ingredients. Iron chloride or hydrogen peroxide. You will have to inhale these dangerous and poisonous scents to make their boards. You have the option not to do this and turn to the professionals, namely the company Next PCB. Let's do it together, because for subscribers of my channel there is a coupon which has 10% discount. Links to the website and to the coupon can be found in the description of this video. A new registered user received a $100 coupon from Next PCB. You can download the Gerber file and choose the option of your projects. Next PCB has developed special software for analyzing the design of printed circuit boards. This software can help PCB designer check for errors in their design, get online pricing for each layer and provide a simpler and better solution for their design so that it helps them to save a lot of money to make their printed circuit boards. You will also find a link to the software in the description of this video. Well, I am starting to create a project. And this time I will connect the FM transmitter and receiver to the Arduino board. But when creating a device you may encounter uh, some uh, difficulties. One of them is uh, the correct calculation of the antenna. More precisely you need to correctly calculate the length of the antenna. A little theory about it. The frequency of a transmitter is 433 MHz. I think you know that all electromagnetic phase travel at the speed of light. To calculate the antenna length you should take the half period time or the ball oscillation period. If you calculate everything correctly the length of the antenna will be about 35 cm. This is the best option for the length of the antenna. In this project I will transmit signals using this joystick. If you don't have a joystick you can use true potentiometer. The essence of the program code will not change. Let's connect the joystick to the Arduino and see what values the Arduino receives in the serial port monitor. We will write this simple program code and see how the values of the analog to digital converter in the serial port monitor will change.
you can connect the plotter over a serial connection and you will be able to see more clearly the movement of the joystick. You need to rewrite the values of the joystick at the position right, left, up and down. It will be easy this way. In this time to check the functionality of the frame model for receiving and transmitting the signal. I will just send signal for simple LED control. It's connecting the radio transmitter to the Arduino. For this project I wrote a simple program in which I pass the number 1, 2 and 3 in binary calculus. Now let's connect the FM receiver. As an indicator I will use a three color LED. I wrote a simple program for the receiver. In this program the 13, 12, 11 digital output of the Arduino are involved.
Let's see how it works. As you can see my friends, the transmitter and the server are working. Now you can diversify these projects by adding sound, a server and control widget joystick. You will have to slightly change the program code that I will attach in the description of this video and then your device will work properly like this. Please note that you must specify your values if you are going to use potentiometer for example. In which this I say goodbye to you until the next project. As soon as the ideas appear I will post in the video. Do not forget about my notes and about the store with t-shirts. This is how you support me on our difficult times. Which that I say goodbye to all of you until we meet again. Sincerely Yuri Kovalenak.